This was my first visit. I hope you guys have fun. Will you tell DJ to post? This way he do, okay? Oh! Where are we? What are we doing? Oh, we're going to change cash. Did you what's happening right now? Naira. US dollars for Naira. No, I just for my account. Oh, okay. take transfer. So we finally made it guys. We finally made it to the boat. So this is the road to the boat. Well let me there, lead away. You on camera? Lead away. That's a whole market here. We're trying to find a boat, y'all. That's what's happening right now. There is, um, Okay. Okay. I'm still making a video anyways. Okay guys, so we're about to get in the boat. As you can see, everybody is about to, they got their jackets on, they're about to go. And that's a little water taxi right there. I want to get on that one, but I can't because I'm broke right now. But when I get rich, that's the one we're going to take. So we get on the kennel and we're going to go to Pataki. Negotiating. And I'm usually in the corner somewhere. They fabulous. Oh, that's me. So they talk about it. They negotiate. They get it ready. Then I take my butt and I put it in it, and I enjoy it, and I feel it. So, well, I here today. We're about to go to Badagri, which is the slave trail here in Nigeria. Very historical landmark. Woo! Okay, so. Where's the guy? Junior. So we about to get on the boat, y'all. They joint shaky. I'm over here. I gotta trust my thighs. See what we doing? You gotta stand like you surfing. Going, going. Okay.
people come to your Google. Greater Google is the very small. And in the museum, we have the real chain used on sleeves. Let's go down. That's where we are going to. During the period of sleeves. The chain inside the museum is around 500 years old. Wow. 500 years old. Yeah, because slave trade lasted in Badagri for about 350 to 400 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we have a market in Badagri. Let's we'll take a picture of it. Established in the year 1502 called Blekete Slave Market. So during this period, over 300 slaves were sold every market. Is. Over 70,000 slaves are led out of Badagri every year. Wow. Wow. So, 17,000 black people. In the museum, you're going to see the real instrument used during the period of slave trade. And from here to the barracoon, from the barracoon to the point of the Take a picture. Hold on, hold on, guys. I thought I'd be excited. I'm satisfied. These are cannon guns. Cannon guns were used in exchange of human beings during the period of slavery. During, this pe during the period of slavery, we recognize carries as means of exchange. And the white man doesn't recognize carries as money. And that led to the introduction of trade by Okay. Each of the cannon guns were the... in exchange of 100 human beings during the period of slave trade. So these are 200 slaves lying down on the floor during the period of slave trade. We have a slave market in Badagri Day, and the name of the market is Plekete Slave Market. During this period, over 300 slaves were sold every market day. Over 70,000 slaves are laid out of Badagri. So in here, we'll be seeing the chain. Now, the next place is the barracoon, where 40 human beings are kept in a room for three to four months before they move them to the other side of the water, and we call the point of no return. There you are seeing the spirit at a nation where our forefathers were forced to drink from, that made them to become less His name is Shiksomo Mobi. I told you the other time that slave trade lasted for about 350 to 400 years in Badagri. Badagri was a slave corridor and we had two slave coasts in the country then, Badagri Calabar. Slave gotten from the eastern part of the country of the country were taken to Calabar and slave gotten from the Oyo Empire, the Yoruba speaking area were brought down to Badagri. So the people of Badagri actually buy slaves from their fellow black and resell to the white man. Mm. The father of the man buried there usually buy slaves from his fellow black and resell to the white man. And because the man always entertained the white people with Kolanot, Kolanot is called Obi in Yoruba language. They gave him a nickname, Chief Mobi. And so the family adopted the name as a family name. Mobi is now a Chief Tansi title in Badagri of today. So the son, who doesn't like the trade, stopped the trade in the year 1886. So even though for the person buried there, the trade they last longer. Chief Sumobi abolished slave trade in Badagri in the year 1886. And this is called the necklock. This is the chain put around slave being handed over to the white men. And they carry these to work in the farm for 18 hours every day. They travel with these around their neck for three months before they get to their final destination. One or two people can come and carry the chain to feel the weight of the chain. The white men were meant and they 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 are for that carriage during the period of slave trade. You gotta come try this. Yeah. yeah. Can I put it on my Yeah, you can. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, wow. It's so heavy. So, this is called the neck lock. And this is used on the hands of the small children. Any child given birth by a slave is a slave. For the children not to move closer to their parents, they group them together. A group of three, four. Chain their wrists together and make them sit under a tree far away from where their parents are working. Why this is called the mouth clean? For the white, for the slave not to communicate to one another, they usually place their mouth. In the morning when they are going to the farm, they put this on their mouth and padlock their mouth for them not to communicate or eat while working on the farm. White days is used on the hands of any stubborn slave who refuse order made by the white people. They force this into their hand down to the wrist. This may not this will not go in easily, so they break the bone. So force this to the wrist. After forcing this to the wrist, they made safe climb a platform, screw this up to a tall tree, remove the platform. The stuff will be suspended on the tree, dangling from money tonight. In the course of doing this, most of them die. The white people doesn't care because our forefathers were being extinguished for high tension. And this is called the branding hire. Branding hire were you was used to write name on slaves. During the period of slavery, for the white people to be able to identify their slaves, they usually write their name on the body of their slaves. So they put this in fire. When this is red hot, this is to write the name on the body of the slave. And this is what you have adopted as fashion today. The second function of this is to pierce the lips of the slaves, while the last function 
The foot of any slave who tried to run away, being captured, they put this in fire, put the leg of the falling tree, and eat this into the foot to pierce the leg or break the bone inside the leg. And this is called the hand lock, used on the leg of two slaves at a time. For slaves not to run away, two of them have to share this around their hand -cook. And you have to walk with this around your leg at the same time. For slave trade. No. Oh yeah, now give us one of these. But is the guy's back or is this back? Papa, I'm using one thing I use. I'm from Venezuela. I know this is a good way I come out. Oh yeah, give us like three. Which one? Just one. 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 Just one.